What's up guys? Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make these decorative arrows using your scrap lumber. Let's get started. All right, so to start out, I just got this scrap piece of one by 12. Uh, it's a little bit warped, so I can't really use it for anything else. And you don't need to have one long piece. You can have uh, just multiple short pieces as well. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna start from this side, and then I'm just gonna line up my, my square, and I'm just gonna make some marks using the diagonal. And for the first one, I'll just start it right at the end. And for the second one, I'm just gonna measure over six and a half inches. And then I'll make 45 marks from those as well. And then if you want yours to be wider, obviously you can measure over further. And then I'll just measure over six and a half again. Depending on how many you want and how much wood you have, you can just do as many as you want. All right, so now that we got these marked out, I'm gonna go ahead and cut as much of them as I can uh, with my miter saw, but I don't know if I'll be able to get it all the way to the middle. And also, I mean, the end ones you can overcut, but for these middle ones, uh, you don't wanna overcut the line. So you just wanna get as close as you can and then you just have to finish it with a jigsaw. If you don't have a miter saw, you can just use a jigsaw for the whole cut. This will just help to speed it up a little bit. All right, so I got all my pieces cut, and now I'm just gonna take my sander and go through and clean up any of the pencil marks. And then also on some of these tips, I just gotta uh, sand off a little bit where uh, my cuts didn't line up perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these cleaned up. All right, I'm gonna be doing uh, two sets of these. So for the one set, I'm just gonna be staining them uh, one color. I just have some of this uh, water-based wood stain. This is bare, and the color is English chestnut. And I'll just be applying this with a rag. All right, so I went ahead and I did two coats on these. And if staining them was all you wanted to do to yours, uh, you just have to let them dry and then go ahead and put some sealer on them and then put some hangers on the backside and you'd be good to go. But while I wait for those to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my other set. So for this one, I'm gonna do them as a flag. So I'll be doing the left side of the top one. I'll be doing these so that they'll hang up and down. But if you wanted to go um, sideways, then you need to switch your union to the opposite side, but I'm gonna put my union on the left side of the top one. So what I'm gonna do is just hold them together like this, and then on the very top and the very bottom, I'm gonna make some marks at an inch and a half, and those will be for my stripes, except you'll have to make sure that you don't mark through the top left side if that's where you're gonna put your union. So I'll just make some very small marks across it, and I'm gonna mark from the middle going out. So I'll just make some marks every inch and a half. And then for the lower stripes on the left side, I'll just make some marks on this second one down. And then I'm gonna hold them all together. And then I'll just take a straight edge and go ahead and mark them all at the same time. And just make sure that you mark it lightly. All right, so next up, I'm gonna go ahead and torch these. Uh, this is optional, but it does uh, help to bring out the grain and it just makes it look kind of cool. And then I will only be staining the faces of these ones, so I'll torch the ends of them pretty dark. And then usually I'll torch around the edges on the inside a little bit dark and then I'll leave the, mi uh, the middle of it a little bit lighter. But obviously you can torch it however you'd like to. All 
All right, so for my stain, I'm just using a spirit stain. You can get the stuff on Amazon. So I just got red, royal blue, and white. And I'll just be using this 1.41 inch frog tape. And first I'll get the red stain, so I'll just tape off uh, the white stripes. And then once that dries, I'll go ahead, tape those off, get the white stained, and then I will get the union stained. And I'll just be using a rag to stain. All right, so once you have everything stained, I just have this matte clear sealer, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put a coat on all these. All right, so I got everything sealed and I gave it some time to dry, and now I'm just gonna take my stencil, go ahead and tape it so that it lines up. Make sure that your stars are pointing in the right direction so that the tips are pointing out. And then I'll just go ahead, tape it on there, cover up this right side, and uh, just use some white spray paint to spray out the stars. All right, so once those stars have time to dry up, the last thing that we gotta do is put some hangers on the back, and I'm just gonna be using these small sawtooth hangers. And I will just center them. Uh, since I'll be hanging mine up and down, I'll just center them right below this point right here. All right, so I went ahead and also added a screw at the bottom, just a really short screw, but I left it sticking out a little bit just so that it kind of offsets the hanger, just so that it's not sitting too crooked on the wall but obviously that is optional. All right, so that is what they look like all finished up. Uh, obviously you could paint or stain these things any color to match the interior of your house. I just did this brown as an example. And then you could also position these to go side to side as well, um, depending on what kind of wall you put them on. Or I was thinking also you could, if you made an additional one, obviously you would have to change the hangers around a little bit, but you could make kind of a, kind of an X design. Obviously that one would match the rest of them, but you could kind of get creative with it. But let me know what you guys think about these in the comments. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations or ideas, I would appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe for more. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I hope you guys all have a great day.